Now a play fake here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Contreras. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Five catches, 79 yards, and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to lead to a third down. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the defense says they have it. Yes, they've got it. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Shepard now from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, that just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they're certainly going the wrong way, aren't they? Because it looked like they had things pointing in the right direction, but now they've lost two straight. And that means this game is vital, extremely important, because if they fall two games below 500, the road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. A gain of one brings up Looking to throw. Walden eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Take it at the 37. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, so, not, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. The numbers for Walker from last week's effort. 16 carries, 75 yards, and a touchdown. They've won two straight games, and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endure yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. On first down. It's Walker, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting, 
and holler, and it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Off play action. Porter forced out to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. A seven yard gain on the play. And it's a third down. On third down. Walker, and he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, and he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Off the play fake, Porter. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Throwing on third and long, Porter. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. And his kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing to start the drive. Walden. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Makes it second and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. And this defense going to bring out a couple extra DBs here on third and a yard. Back to throw. Walden is going to float this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's been fun to watch run the football. We know he can pass, but using his legs effectively here in this one. No doubt about it. Watch him maneuver in the pocket, out of the pocket, making the plays that he's making, which are breaking down the defense. I thought back to when we had our morning jog before the game, and I couldn't keep up with you. Those legs, they're valuable for his team. On second down now, it's Walker. Oh, uh, Walker showing the power, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Throwing on first down, Porter. 
Can't get away, and he's taken down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Off play action. Porter. Got a man and he hits him in stride. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Off the play fake. Porter. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. At the 21 yard line. On third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise, and then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. On first and ten, Porter. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. To throw on second down, Porter. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. Looking to throw. Porter. Flush. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Off play action. Porter. Buying time to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. And his kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Austin's offense ready to go again. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Walden. In trouble and he's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring it second down. And when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. from the gun he'll hand this off and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair and some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long operating from the gun Walden going for the deep ball well this is taken in it's complete and all the way in for the touchdown He's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he 
showed it off on that one. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will shrink to six. The drive there only spanning three plays. From the six. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Come on, Let's go. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily, man. Off the play fake. Porter. Dancing, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sand. Back to throw. Porter, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Punt team on now as this one sent away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll run on first down. Wilkinson, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw, Walden. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Walden. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Contreras. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. It's now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on third and long. Walden, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be cool when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. 
And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Porter. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Looking to throw on second down. Walden. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And his guys have got it back in the closing stages of the first half. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Escaping the pressure right, and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, it was you. Be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Play action. Porter. Steps away to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. On third down. It's Walker. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make this a second down. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Off the play fake. Porter. And he fires one, but incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told them, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, pressure comes and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack and it brings up second. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> Someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. A throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good. They it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, Walden. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Throwing on third and long. Walden, he's going to loft it. Deep right sideline. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. It's just a 30-yard punt that time. No return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game All right, in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more Let's excitement. Go. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Throwing on first down. Porter. Eluding the pressure right. Room to run past midfield. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That was a round run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Off play action, Porter. Being chased out left. 
And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And as a result, possession switches hands. On first down, Wilkinson. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Looking to throw. Walden. He finds his man complete. It's Contreras. And a healthy gain of eight here. They double their workspace out to the 16. On third down, Wilkinson. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That's a lot of shoulders just dropped there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. First and ten, Walden. He finds his man complete. That's Contreras. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Back to throw, Walden. And his throw is incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hands it off out of the gun. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. To throw on third down. Walden. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule it out of bounds. So the incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On first down, Porter. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Off the play fake, Porter. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. 
We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Walden. Throw left side complete. That's Marshall. A gain of six there on first. It's a pickup of six. To throw on second down. Walden. There goes a deep ball. End zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Brings up the third down. From the gun on third down. Walden. And this is going to be incomplete. And on now is the punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. Hey, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll run on first down. Walker, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll keep it on the ground. Walker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down okay. coming up. They run the counter. It's Walker. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. A 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Off play action. Porter. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Graves. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.